Last one. Thanks. Uh, Chris, before you had a cool practice space, where did you practice? Or can you suggest for us places where we could practice? Think about this, what you need as a juggler. You probably want heating and air conditioning. You need high ceilings and you want it to be open all year round, right? So what kind of places meet those requirements? Well, well certainly YMCA's, uh, high school gymnasiums, places like that. Uh, Sometimes you can work a deal with those kinds of places. Yeah, you might have to buy a membership, but sometimes uh, you can work a deal. One of the best deals I had uh, was the local YMCA uh, once for two years in a row gave me free membership and free use of their facilities, uh, including the gymnasium practice space, as long as I did, uh, I think, three shows a year for them. Two were at like some kind of family fun day promote the YMCA kind of occasion, and the third one was usually like a Christmas occasion of some sort. And as long as I agreed to kind of work on those three occasions, I got pretty much free use of the, of the space. Um, honestly, consider uh, churches perhaps. You know, churches have, very typically, high ceilings in the sanctuary. Some churches are really big and they have their own gymnasium. Um, you know, but if you're comfortable with that, you might approach a church again and with the idea that you'd like to use their practice, their area as a practice space. Uh, now, it might seem strange, but you might be surprised. Uh, and, and ask around, you know, try to make connections with people and see if you explain your situation to them, see if others might be able to come up with some kind of solution. Dress nicely, present yourself well. And again, maybe perhaps make an offer that you could uh, assist uh, with doing a, a show occasionally. I know there's kind of like lately, some, some of you are having trouble with using racquetball courts for juggling practice. Oh my gosh, what, the clubs are going to beat up the floor or something? I don't know. Um, but certainly check with your uh, local workout facility to make sure that anything you might seek to use that space for is approved for juggling means. Get good practicing under low ceilings. Low ceilings are a bummer and they certainly are a limiting factor for a lot of juggling tricks, but there are ways to make the best of a bad situation. I got good at doing chin rolls um, with three clubs because I only had a living room to practice in. I broke my foot once and um, that's when I learned how to do uh, bouncing of five balls. I couldn't move around to practice. All I could do was basically stand in one place. So I worked on ball bouncing then. And uh, that's actually truly the event that led to me being able to, to do that. Yeah, other than that, honestly, public parks, grassy spaces on nice cool days, hopefully when it's not too windy, um, those can be you know, decent places as well. Yeah. Alright, let's say goodbye.